Or I ain't gonna live like this no more Most of my life been waging war Till I found peace, I could've swore What she did shook me to the core And I ain't gonna live like that no Well, I ain't gonna live like this no more Trouble comes when the barmaid pours Another four man who should have found the door Oh, when I get going, you can hear me roar And I know I can't live like this no All right, friends, before we get started here on this pine, if you'll do one thing for me, I'll really appreciate it. Go on your YouTube app on your phone, your computer, your TV, however you're watching my videos, and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. I had a few people tell me in the past few weeks they were unsubscribed and they don't know what happened. And it happened to me also. I was unsubscribed to a few channels that I watch all the time and I'm not sure what's going on with that. I don't know if it's a glitch in the YouTube system or what's going on, but make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so you won't miss these videos. On the sawmill today, we got some white pine. I need to finish this one up. We're cutting one by eights for siding. The next cant will do three and a half by one for batten strips. And once we're done with that, we'll take them on down to the barn and move on to some really nice cedar, guys. Or I hope it's some really nice cedar. Famous last words right there probably have ants in it, but uh, looks like a good cedar log. So hang in there with me, guys. It's gonna be a good day. friends this right here is eastern red cedar some call it cedar some call it red cedar some people call it juniper it's usually an argument down in the comments below but we all know what it is it's red it smells really good when you saw into it and it's rot resistant and in this area a cedar this size with not a lot of rot right here in the middle is hard to find it's real hard to find and guess what, guys? There's an added bonus to this log I'm seeing right now. It's got poison all over it. I love it. I love it. I'll have this all over me tonight. I tell you, it never fails. Cedar always is covered in poison. It never fails. I'll be itching by tomorrow. 
This is an eight footer. The diameter down here is about, gosh, what is that? 20 inches. That is a good one, friends. Usually our cedar is about 10 to 12 inches for saw logs. When you go bigger than that, it's got a big hole right there in the pith. So something this size is really nice to find. Having said that, when I open it up, it'll probably be full of ants or something like that because I'm sitting here bragging on it. So I should probably just shut up and saw it. And down here on the other end, it looks like we're looking at about the same, about 19 and a half down here. So not much taper at all. Saw on this log into four quarter boards, actually an inch and an eighth. This is one of my logs here, but I do have a customer I'm sawing it for. He's needing some cedar, inch and an eighth, random width, which means as wide as I can get it on different planes. And you try to go as wide as you can, but if it's okay if you have to flip it a few times and lose some width to avoid defects, because we will run into some bad areas on this Eastern Cedar, without a doubt. I know I was bragging on it, but there will be a lot of voids once we start getting to the pith and around the juvenile wood here on this log. Now on the sawmill today, I'm running a silver tip turbo seven and I'm touching a log with poison all over it. That's really smart right there. But anyways, guys, I'm running a turbo seven silver tip. I get those from Joe Main down in Georgia. If you're interested in those blades, there's a link down below. It's got his email address, not his email address, his cell phone number. So give him a call if you're interested in buying some blades. And, uh, that blade that's on there right now has been on there for a few logs, guys. It's probably got about four or 500 feet on it. So I won't be able to saw as fast as usual. Who was that over there? Another cat showed up. I have never seen that cat before. Goodness, we got cats coming in everywhere. Everybody hears that we feed cats, so they just take them here and drop them off, I guess. So anyways, guys, we're doing four quarter boards, random width, and uh, that's all there is to say about that, I guess. I guess I should just get sawing. Hang in there, guys. This should be a good one. Oh, and also one more thing. Not that it really matters to you all, but I'm going to go grab some dinner, and I'll see you back up here in just a minute.
been some hard times here lately. This ain't our home no more. All right, guys, this is Eastern Red Cedar or Juniper or Ur. This is some Ur right here. Goodness. All right, guys. I forgot what I was going to say. That's a shocker. For a customer of mine, he's wanting to cut into four quarter. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do.